Hi, um, this exercise is going to be the sprocket. This is going to be video one of three. Uh, the sprocket, we are going to first, video number one will be the plan. Video number two will be the section. And then video number three will be the annotation and the hatching. So while drawing the sprocket, we are just going to draw the small circles from the inside out. So this will be the first circle, this circle. As we get to bigger circles, we'll keep moving out. Now we'll notice on this one, uh, they'll have arrows pointing to the diameters of the circles and all. But also, uh, this plan doesn't have all the dimensions. You might have to rely on the section to get some of these. So for instance, the diameter of this circle is 63. And then the diameter of this circle is 165 and so on out here to 189 so we're going to have to be going between the two uh views to figure out <clears throat> what our dimensions are so uh with that being said let's start the first circle and we'll work our way out so the first one is a 32 diameter oh and by the way this is a metric uh, drawing so it's not an architecture it's a metric so uh, but the first diameter is 32 uh, the next circle, the center circle, we come to find, we find it here. So we have eight of these circles with a five diameter on a 50 diameter bolt center. So this line here will be 50, okay? Uh, so we have that one. And then this circle, like I said earlier, we'll look at this section over here. This is 63. So let's get those three circles drawn a while and start moving on. Okay, so we got this circle. This has a diameter of 32. So I want to start at 0, 0. Again, you don't have to, but that's what I like to do. Uh, so the diameter is 32. Uh, do you notice I have the wrong layer? So I'm going to change to visible. I'm going to change this to visible. And then we'll go back to circles again. So this was a bolt center of 50. So we're going back to the diameter here, uh, and that is a diameter of 50. And then the outer circle we saw was on this one of 63. So that's a diameter because it gave the, the size of the whole circle from edge to edge. Okay, now I'm going to put this one as a center line. <clears throat> So we have that one. So the next circle we're going to work on is we are going to, we got this one, this one, this one. I want to work on this circle and then this one and this one, those three. So this circle here, these arch, it's a radius of 70. And then this circle here, uh, we can't find it over here. We have to come over here. Uh, so it's 165 and then the outer circle is 189. So pretty simple to find so uh, again this next circle was a radius of 70 and then we had the other ones they were shown as diameters did I hit diameter well I don't know I can't remember so 165 and 189 okay that did seem right did it so let's go circle diameter again uh, 189 that looks a little better doesn't it so so we got all our circles drawn so the next thing we're going to get is I was going to draw these teeth here uh, but first I should probably put in my center lines on the x and y axis and then the teeth we got to get these arcs so they're shown there's 20 of them with a radius of 9 so once I get this axis in I am going to draw a uh, circle here from the, this point draw it a radius of 9 and then trim it and then I'm going to use the polar array to go around here this tells us there's 20 of these so let's try this so first of all make sure I'm on the correct layer it's one of the centers again I'm going to draw this center line you guys don't have to but I don't know why it's just a personal preference of mine so um, okay so that's that so like we said we're going to draw the teeth now so those teeth had a radius of nine 
So I'm going to start at this circle, the intersection there. It's a radius of 9. Looks like I have it on the wrong layer. So go to visible. <clears throat> and then I will just change this to visible. We're going to trim this. Okay. And then we're going to just use the polar array. Okay. And click here and just hit polar. Because it could be just regular rectangular array. But we're going to hit polar. So we're going to click on that. Select our object. It's asking for the base point. So we're going to go to the center of this, correct? Okay, right now it shows her 6, and we want 20. So let's go to 20. Woo, what? Look at that. So we're going to go around and trim all these. Pretty simple. a lot to trim here, isn't there? Okay, so we have those uh, those teeth in there. So what I want to try to work on is this circle and then these cutouts here. So to get to the center of this circle, we have to offset that line 54 inches, okay? And then we see that the radius of this, the diameter of this circle is 38. And then the diameter of the outer circle is 57. So let's get that. So we're going to offset. It's asking us for the distance. We're going to say 54. We've got 54. So obviously at the center of that circle, uh, like it said, it said the interior circle was a diameter of 38. And then the other circle had a diameter. Get the intersection now. Very important. A diameter of 57. And again, it did not like me. I do not know why. Uh, 57. It should meet right there in the center there. So, now with that being said, we're going to go for the cutouts now. We're going to start working on this. So, it's telling us that the radius of these circles here is 6. Okay? So, We've got to get this line somehow. So there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, you can uh, offset this line 6, draw a circle and all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do an arc of start, center, end. I know, arcs. So that's the start, the center. Uh, I'm going to pick a O snap there. Now that had a radius of 6. So I'm going to go in 6 and then the end. I'm going to hold in control so my arc goes the other way. Because if I don't, it goes this way. But I want it to go the other way. So I want it to go straight up. Gonna hold down control. There you go. Okay. And then I can draw from there to there. Okay. And that tells me, uh, so we have that. So this was also telling me that the radius of this is 6. That's 6. This one's telling me it's 12. Okay? So, let's go to fill it. Get a radius. We want to go to 6. So, I'm going to go 6. This one was 6. And then this one was 12. 12. Okay? For some reason, that did not like me. Fill it. Radius. Down here saying six, so I gotta put in twelve. Here and here. Okay, so you can kind of see that outline come here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mirror some things here. We're gonna hit here, get these lines and arcs. Alright, we're gonna use this center line as our mirror line. Make sure you're on that line, so use your O snaps. Okay, look at that. We already have a lot of this stuff here. So when we look at this, uh, we notice we have this outside shape and this circle and this outside shape. But we got some trimming to do here. We got to trim here, got to trim here, here, and we got to get rid of that stuff. So let's get to trimming. So we're going to trim this. We're going to trim that. We're going to erase that. We're going to trim this and this. 
and then we're going to select this arc and this arc there we go i believe i did that wrong good job wayne um okay you hit undo a couple times here let's try this again hit this arc and this arc and we're going to go here so there you go so we have that going on now now the next one we have to get is we have to get these right here so this is going off at an angle of 30 and it's telling us so that's the first circle and they said this is a 120 degree arc from here to here there's seven of them with a 12 inch diameter so what we're going to do is we're going to draw our line or hang on let's rotate rotate right click that's a uh, base point center we go 30 uh, and then we're going to go to our arc again uh, so we're at the center there our arc is the di or our, yeah the diameter of 127 okay so we are oops looks like i forgot to copy my uh, arc So we're going to trim this line here. We're going to go here, get the right layer there, use the circle. I used a radius. Uh, really, it's the diameter of 12, so the radius will be 6. And then we are going to array this. It's telling us to use this as a center. Okay, the items are seven, but we want to go to a fill angle of 120. There you go. Um, and then, as you used in match properties, and we can use this as the arc, trim this arc or this circle. So we just have the arc. So there you go. And then this uh, center one, we got the circles here. So we're going to start at the top here. They were a diameter of five. We're going to use the polar array again. Okay. We're going to use this as our center. Uh, we have, I believe, eight of them. Eight. There you go. Okay, and then we have this key here. Let's draw this key in. We're going to draw it up two over four. We're just going to pull that out four because the way I get this dimension, I'll got to make sure it goes straight down. The way you get this dimension, and we're just going to... We, we get that dimension is here. It says an 8 by 2 key. So I went up 2 and over 8. Don't forget to get rid of that little line there. So right now we have drawn the sprocket. This is the plan of it with all its center lines. This is video 1 of 3. Video 2 will be drawing the section.